Welcome back, guys, to Captive Minecraft 2. This is episode number 12. The final episode where everything comes together, where we finish everything off. Yeah, well, at least that's the plan. That's what we're gonna try to do. We've got one monument left to do, and it's this one right behind me. Oop, okay, the camera goes in and out. Camera go in and out. It's the diamond block monument. We've gotta do that one. We also have to do some other things. Isn't that right, Ferdinand? Old buddy, old pal. I swear this guy, like, he may be blind and deaf because he never acknowledges me at- Oh! Hi. Hello. <laughs> Just as I say that, he acknowledges me. Here's the achievements. We've done everything except for these. We have to- Let's see, we did this. We have to spawn the wither. Uh, I think this one is kill the wither. Then we've got to make a beacon. This one, right here, Adventuring Time, Discover All Biomes, is currently bugged. I actually looked this up, uh, and the Farlanders, the, the guys that make Captive Minecraft, said that this is not even possible in the normal game yet, in, this, in the snapshots. So, we have these three achievements left to do. We've got a lot of stuff left to do. We have 64 levels, and we need to do some enchanting. I need a Smite Sword for the Wither. And I would like some protection books for hopefully some diamond armor. We're gonna breed some villagers and hope to do some training. Training? Trading. To get some diamond gear for them. So, oh, I did not bring lapis. I always forget that. Gotta get in the habit of that. That is the new MO for enchanting. Swim up the stream. I never, um... Uh, I've, I've been swimming up this stream ever since Ferdinand started living here. Because I'm worried about him falling and hurting himself. He is a delicate flower, that pig. Okay, so uh, I want a smite sword. I already have a smite four book, so we need one more to combine onto a sword. Uh, this, these, uh, these boots are capped out, but I would like some protection books for the other three slots. And I guess I don't have any other gear to enchant. So we're just gonna take what we can get and just see what happens. Protection three, excellent. And we don't necessarily have, or we don't need to have the, the best gear possible. There we go. There's our two Smite 4 books, which will get us a Smite 5. Uh, one thing I am going to do is use a Notch Apple. And I'm going to use everything within my power to make that Wither fight possible. Bane of Arthropods, whatever. Let's see, we're down to 40 levels. Unbreaking 3, that'll be good on some armor. And there is a possibility of dual enchants on these things, so even if it says one thing, we may get more. Lawrence one. Okay, there's all our level 30 enchants. Good. Uh, got a protection enchant, got an unbreaking enchant, and got smite five. So I think that's uh, this probably good enough. So we can move on. Next thing we need to do, well, we need to put this stuff away, is we need to go on a mining spree. Pick up all the gold we can find. We might just need a second notch apple. We're going to prepare for the worst. Pick up the emeralds for trading with villagers, and look for diamonds. Alright, Ferdinand, you want to see what we got? You want to see what we got, little guy? You want to see what we got? Okay, check this out. I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to you guys. Look at what I found! Trading with villagers, not necessary. We've got, what, a stack of gold there. Decent amount of iron, and I've got some iron smelting. A full stack of gold sm smelting. And I found 58 diamonds. I think I maybe had, like, three or something like that before I went down there. I basically, I went down to uh, Y elevation equals 9, and I cleared out the whole thing. Kind of like I was speed mining in slow motion, but like you would do if you were speed mining. Cleared out the whole thing. And lo and behold, there were more than enough diamonds for what we need to do. That's good, because trading with the villagers would have been long and tedious. I didn't want to do that in a custom map. Yay, you've completed all of the monuments. Bravo. Take this. You've earned it. Oh, that went directly into my inventory. Let's see. There's probably something else up here. This is not... The, uh, this, this blaze rod, it's not the, uh, the gold monument, uh, what, reward? It's not the reward. It's the reward for completing everything. Oh my god. Really? 
Oh, I'm not sure about those enchants. <laughs> Thanks. Maybe I can use them. Okay, I can put protection on this, so that's good. And I can put protection on that. That's good. Uh, but the chest plate, I can't put protection on. And I don't think that the projectiles from the the wither count. We actually need blast protection. I just forgot, I forgot about that. We're going to need at least two pieces of blast protection for. Did I get any of those? Oh, I'm so glad I just remembered that. Because I'm... May have forgotten, and then we would have been screwed. Any books of blast protection? We need blast protection. Okay, anyway, we got some bonus armor there. Let's look at what what did we just get? Whoa! Stack of staff of monuments, knockback ten, fire aspect one, sharpness three, sharpness three. I'm using the uh, the Kennedy voice again. Okay, that's cool. Well, one thing we will need is a a diamond sword. And where's my books? Where's my books? Where'd I put them? I know you're around here somewhere. Smite. Smite. Okay. And we shall call this the um the uh, the border slayer. Because I have been expand. Is that really good? Border ex border slayer. How about, um, we'll call it escape, all right? This is captive Minecraft. So if we're captive, we want to escape. There. For better or for worse, I just named it escape. Escape with smite v. All right, we'll stick you in here for now. And the spare diamonds. So next thing we need to do is something I've been dreading. We have to go back to the nether to fight wither skeletons to get wither skeleton skulls and I've got looting two on this sword so this is the one we're gonna use I'm a little nervous that the pigmen might be angry all right here we go so pigmen yeah they never forgive you and there's no chance for them to despawn the only way to reset the situation is if there were no pigmen around when one pigman is angry, and he does that little call, all the other pigmen within audible range of him, that's calculated by the game, I guess, every single one of them, they all get angry too. And because there are pigmen spawners, they're going to be angry forever. So what we need to do, we need to fight some... Oh gosh, we need to fight some, uh, some wither skeletons. Let me just take a peek here, see if anything's new. What would be awesome? Oh, hi. Oh, God. Uh, what would be awesome? Awesome. Pow. Suck it. Is if we could find a chest with the skulls in them already. That would be awesome, but I don't think it's going to happen. So what we probably need to do is make protected pathways um, with over these uh, the sections of the, the dungeon with occasional two block high little uh, guardrails or whatever so that the, the wither skeletons can't get through them. I remember seeing a wither skeleton on the other side of the fence at some point. So I brought some blocks so we can do some building. I wanna do just a little bit of looking here. Yeah, that, that was nothing. We need to do some building. I really should have brought a chest. I made some fire resist potions. And if I get into a fight, uh, what I'll do is I'm gonna Let's see, we kind of want to... God, okay, well, we... Hi. There's no other way around it. We're going to be... We're in an eternal war with them. Eternal battle. This is one block up. Whoa! Okay, thankfully, my sword is quite a bit stronger. Um, what I want to do is make some guard breaks. And maybe even... Oh, you know what I should do? This is the way. I should uh, put a roof on this thing, make a series of rooms with iron doors in them so that only I can get through. That's, I think that's maybe an idea. I may just try that. And then we're gonna have to try to see if we can either find, uh, maybe what would be really nice is if the map makers put in a wither skeleton spawner. I'm not sure they did though. I just, I have to be real careful that nothing falls on my head. 
So I'm gonna spend a little bit of time fortifying this area, and hopefully we make some progress and are able to uh, do something here. Well, I've got the area pretty much cleared out. So there's the portal right there. I've got some chests here just to dump the random stuff that the monsters have been dropping. I've got a three high roof over most everything as far as the world border goes more or less. Um, except for here where the, the fortress stops. So I've got that much done. And then over here on this side, I've got a pretty wide platform. And there are blaze spawners all over and also zombie pigments. Oh gosh. And I I don't have any more Oh, there's a crap. I hope come back here. I don't have any more fire resist potions. I thought I'd probably be okay without them. If I get too low, I will just uh use them my potions. Hey buddy, come here. Oh, you know what? I forgot about this. Come here. There. Now you can come. And you know what I don't want you to do? I don't want your uh, little skull to fly way out here. So, we've got that much done, and then out here, actually I can probably, I don't need to have that open. I really, really, I really want to get rid of these spawners, but I have no idea where they are. This guy's not even here. Oh, is he? I thought he was above maybe, because it looked like he was glitching through the ceiling. Uh, basically, I'm trying to get the attention of Wither Skeletons. I've only killed a few so far. I've got to peek my head here. I've seen a bunch spawned over here, but we have a world border. And unlike in most normal maps, if you don't have Wither Skeletons spawned in your area of the, the, the Nether Fortress, you can run nine chunks away and despawn all the mobs and then come back and get a fresh set of spawns. I can't do that because of the world border, obviously. So this may be a bit tedious, but we'll get it done. We'll get those three Wither Skulls eventually. And then we can try to take on the Wither in due time. All right, let's take a break from that. Let's work on the armor set that we're gonna use to fight the Wither. And for that, we're gonna have to sit here AFK for a while in our mob grinder and then use our splash potions to health and our little crusher thingy to get the experience and uh, enchant up this new stuff. All right, here we go. Got everything we need, finally, finally. We got a shiny a new suit of armor. Got three wither skull heads. So my armor's all diamonds and it's got uh, protection four on this one. The helmet protection four here on the boots. Uh, blast protection three on the legs, blast protection four on the chest. I tried for so long to try to get <laughs> blast protection three to combine with this to get blast protection four. I've got two double chests full of stupid books uh, trying to get the right enchant. It's really hard to get blast protection three. I don't know what the deal is with that. I've got a ton of potions and I've got a smite five sword escape two notch apples two notch apples five minutes of resistance i'm hoping that we can kind of push him up against the uh the wall here because <laughs> he won't be able to move that way i'm hoping that's the case uh, i don't know we'll see what what's going to happen let's see strength two is going to last a minute 30 i'd like to mostly fight him with my sword that'd be much quicker uh Regen will be two minutes, but that won't go into effect until after those are gone. So maybe I'll do that. Also have a speed potion. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna quaff the potion of swiftness, quaff the potion of strength, um, place the wither skull, take the golden apple, and then we're gonna bash his brain in, okay? Here we go. There's one. No, oh God, more. Woo, already screwing up. There's two. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. There's that. Here we go. Here he comes. He blasty, blasty, blasty. What? Oh, okay. Not even with it. Now I am. 
Okay. Good. Don't you knock me through the void fog, sucker. Got him! Holy moly! I owned him right in his face. Yes. Okay. Uh, what's my health doing? I can't really tell. We made it. There's stuff. Oh, I got the nether star. I was just about to get a little bit worried um, <laughs> that there was stuff stuck outside the border. I think that stuff he directly exploded, uh, but he can't get outside the border, I don't think. And anything that blows up on this side of the border can't cross. For instance, if I take this bit of cobblestone and do that, it bounces off. Huh, well, okay. I was a little worried. Ooh, that's not so good. The, um, the notch apple gives you fire resistance, by the way, so I probably wouldn't have, would have been okay if we had fallen in that fire. Wow. Okay, achievement bane. That went quicker than I thought it would. Kill the wither taken. Spawn the wither taken. Create a full beacon. Ew. <laughs> Are we gonna need... 81 blocks for that. That will be tough. 81 blocks of gold, diamond, emeralds, and iron. And I know, uh, there's some iron. Oh, I'm gonna snag it. I'm hoping, yeah, that's what that means. Okay, well, let's go up top and let's craft the beacon and take a look at our inventories and see what we have available. We should also have some new stuff available. Uh, I don't want to spend too long looking though because we've basically at this point beaten the map and now it's just a, a matter of putting together that beacon and then we will have completed every achievement in the game. Except for the one that doesn't work right now, except for that one. This place gets uh, exploded fairly frequently. Uh, there should be some new gold and emeralds, and uh, that'll be the first place I come to look to make new blocks. If we don't have enough, we can say hello to Ferdinand. Run up here. It doesn't take all that long to get up, I guess. I never did install ladders. Uh, I just stuck with this stair scenario. Ladders would have been more compact. Okay, almost there. Almost there. Okay. Yeah, I'm wondering... I guess um, I was just going to say, um, you don't really get a a nice experience reward for fighting the wither, but the the star itself is probably good enough. Okay, we'll put that there. Let's dump the to the, the potions, the potions. The strength potion, when you start hitting him with the sword, oh man, the strength potion does so much. Okay, there's iron. There's the, that. Uh, first, oh, I need, uh, oh, I have some obsidian. Good, left over from... Left over from when I was making portals. Wait, it's like this, right? Yeah. Bow. Okay. That's not enough. We're going to need what? I think it's 81 blocks of, of ore. So let's just see what we have after I put this stuff away. Uh, maybe I'll keep a few potions around just in case. Who knows? You never know. I don't really need it, though. And we will start some of this smelting while that's going. 81 blocks. Let's just go ahead and grab everything. Okay, well, one block of diamond. We are not even remotely close to doing this. Oh my goodness. All right, everybody, I think we'll do one last little wrap-up clip. I, I did a little look around, and it turns out there is a pretty good amount of gold and emerald down in that gold and emerald lair in the open cavern area. And I might be able to get maybe like halfway there, but I would have to set up a huge farm, like an iron golem farm or something. And I don't really see the point. Um, I, I basically beat the map, and I think uh, we did what was important. We did all of the Room of Monuments, and we did every achievement except for a full beacon and the one you can't do, which is uh, to do the biomes or whatever. So, uh, I hope everybody enjoyed the series. I really enjoy these maps, and I hope the Farlanders continue to make them. 
Yeah, I particularly I would like it if they added ones that were a little more difficult. Uh, I had fun with this one, but uh, give me something a little bit more crazy. You made two. You made an easy one. You made you made a medium one. Give me something batshit insane, <laughs> please. But no, I really like these maps. I recommend you play them if you haven't yet. Um, let me know any other comments you have on the video series. And we will see you uh, in other videos in the future. This is Easto signing off. And walking backwards. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.